Hi, I'm Derek Ross with AndroidAuthority.com. We're here at CES 2013 in Las Vegas at the LG booth, and we're going to talk about the new LG Google TV that LG is debuting here today. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, new features of the Google TV with, uh, that you're uh, announcing here today? Absolutely. Here you have one of the brand new series of LG Google TV. This is the GA7900. Uh, this particular model features our brand new cinema screen with a brand new remote. And this year, just to elaborate a little bit, tell you what the options are with Google TV, we have two different, ser two different series. Uh, the entry level series features 120 hertz and edge-led LED. When you upgrade to this series, you get the cinema screen plus 240 hertz and LED plus, which offers local limbing, which will increase your contrast ratio on black levels. Now, uh, the is the UI on this the same as uh, the previous LG Google TVs? Uh, it's similar, but we did add some new features. If you notice here, we added a new YouTube card, which is great. We know everyone wants to keep up with what's new and hot on YouTube. So very similar to what you used to on the YouTube website, you have access to recently featured videos, to most viewed, and the training videos. And if you notice here, this user interface is very well laid out, very easy to understand and navigate through, and that's one of the best benefits that people really like about our smart TVs and, of course, our LG Google TV. I, I do see that it comes with some premium apps such as Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, which right now is exclusive to LG. I see it comes with OnLive for, for gaming and, and Plex. For those of you that aren't aware, Plex normally costs uh, three, or, uh, three, four, five dollars, something like that on, on the Google Play Store. So that, that's great that those apps are included. Now, the remote has a, a microphone in it, correct, for the new version three search features? Yes, it does. This remote is LG's magic remote with QWERTY keyboard, so you have a full keyboard to browse the net, and you have dedicated buttons for specific functions like the voice function. Uh, and if you'd like, I can show you a few things with the voice search. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, go ahead and uh, we'll try it out. All right, so let's start off by looking for a website. Let's say I wanted to look for ESPN.com. ESPN.com. It might be hard with all the background noise. Because I said .com, the television knows that I'm looking for a website and it goes directly to where I want to go. Now let's say I wanted to watch a movie. Nightmare Before Christmas. Now what's great is that this is now searching the whole interface and it links me to Primetime, which is gonna basically bring all of that content together and give me all of my options right on this screen. So I would just select Watch and here I have all of my options. So it's coming on soon on Hub. I can purchase it or rent it from Amazon, Google Play, I can even watch it on Netflix if I have a Netflix membership. That's great. And when are these going to be available in store? First quarter. All right, great. Thank you very much. This is Derek Ross with AndroidAuthority.com. Thank you.